Today we're doing the best diastasis recti exercises to heal and close your gap as quickly as possible. While I specifically designed this class to close and heal diastasis recti, it's also beneficial to heal and strengthen for any postpartum mom. I was told that I would likely need surgery for my four finger diastasis recti gap. However, with these exercises, I was able to heal and flatten my core after pregnancy. I will also talk about the other important strategies that I used at the end of the video. There are varying degrees of diastasis recti. I will provide beginner and more advanced options. You wanna keep an eye on your own core and make sure you're not getting any bulging down your linea alba. If you exhale and brace or compress your core, as you do the difficult part of any move, you will be able to do more safely. Let's start with a gentle stretch and mobilizing our spine. We can reach over to the side. Exhale, engage your core to come up other side. Back and forth. Good, let's bring our hands to our knees and we can exhale, rounding out. Inhale, let's open our arms wide, thumbs point towards the back of the room. Exhale, rounding out. Inhale, open up through your chest. Good, let's sit up tall. If you're more comfortable on a little blanket or block, you can if it helps you not to round out through your lower back. Let's bring our hands to our ribs, keeping our shoulders relaxed. Let's inhale into our side and back ribs. And then on exhale, we can even use our hands and encourage our core to come together. Good, let's keep relaxed through our pelvic floor so we're not putting any pressure down on our pelvic floor. Inhale. Exhale. Good, your hands are just supporting your core working. Bring your ribs down and in. One more. Good, let's come to our knees. If your knees get sore, you can either fold up your mat or have a little blanket or pillow under your knees. We're gonna breathe in, expanding through our ribs again. Exhale, zipper up through your core. We'll bring our hands up and we'll slightly lean back. Good, inhale, coming up. Exhale, really engaging your core as you lean back. Good, let's move with our breath. Good, we can bring our hands overhead. We're gonna do modified swimming. So expanding through your ribs again, 360 degrees. So you can keep tension throughout your core. We'll pulse our hands opposite as if we're swimming. Steady breaths. Good, releasing down. We can bring our hands up behind our ear. We're gonna tilt to the side on an inhale, and then exhale, engage your obliques to come up. 
really squeezing your core. Inhale down, exhale up. Last one, good, release, we can take a breath. Let's tip over onto our left side. We can bring our right leg up, knee and toe are pointed forward. And on an exhale, we're gonna bring knee to elbow. That's beginner. Alternatively, you could bring knee up in front of you Exhale, engage your core. For most advanced, you could swing your foot forward. Try not to rock through your hips. So wherever you are, Last one, good, let's take some tiny circles here, not letting your hips rock back and forth. Really squeezing your core. You can have a slight lift in your pelvic floor. Going the other way. Good, releasing down, let's switch over to the other side. And again, you can externally rotate, elbow to knee or in front or swinging your straight leg. Exhale as your knee comes up. Last one, good, re-engage your core, tiny circles. Going the other way. Beautiful, release down. Let's come to all fours. We can extend one leg back and on an exhale, we're gonna draw our knee in and slightly look down. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, knee in. Inhale, lengthen. Move with your breath. Let's take one more. Good, keep that leg extended and then we're gonna drop our toe to the outside without moving our hips back and forth at all. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up. Last one. Good, bringing that leg back in. Let's switch to the other side. Take a big breath. Exhale, 
knee in. Keeping a strong back, not dumping through your lower back at all. Last one. Good, keeping that leg extended out. Tapping your toe to the outside. Inhale, exhale, tap. Inhale, up. Good, bring it back in. Let's stretch through our glutes. Other side. We can grab a quick sip of water. While we grab a sip of water, I wanted to share something that someone wrote to me yesterday. I love all the workouts Jessica put together. The length of the 10 minutes was perfect to fit into my busy schedule and every workout built upon the one before, but was different so that you were still strengthening the core, but in a different way. It never got boring from doing the same move. The music was fun, the quote of the day was uplifting, and Jessica is gentle, motivating, and affirming. Perfect for postpartum. I feel so much stronger and believe that my body has healed. This was such a great course to follow to strengthen the core and pelvic floor. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Ashton. That was so meaningful to me and it inspires me to keep creating for mothers. If you also wanna learn more about the course, I will link right there and in the description box below. We can come back to all fours. We can practice our 360 degree breath again, or for advanced, we can add a bear hover. We're gonna inhale into our side and back ribs. Exhale, squeezing your core. Inhale, expand. If you wanna add a pelvic floor contraction here, you can. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand. Exhale, zipper up, squeeze. Good, and if you're adding a bear hover in, expand. Exhale, lift. Squeeze. Inhale, release down. Exhale, lift. Squeeze. Let's do one more. Good, releasing down. We can make our way down onto our backs now, lowering carefully down on your side. We can bring our heels into our fingertips. On an exhale, let's bring our arms overhead. Inhale, bring them back down. Let's do one more. So for the next move, the beginner level will be a heel slide where we exhale, slide or heel out. If you're able to do this without cone, you can bring your knees up and extend your leg, good. Heel slide or extend. 
Good, ensure your lower back isn't popping off the ground. For a more advanced option, you can also bring your chest and arms off. Last one. Good, so we can stay here in a pulse or for a modified version, keeping your shoulders down and pulsing here. Steady breaths into your side and back ribs. Exhale, engage wherever you are. Amazing, release it down. Let's bring our knees in, stretching out through our pelvic floor, fully releasing. To prevent a hypertonic or tight pelvic floor, it's always really important to stretch after you've done any pelvic floor work. Exhale, releasing your knees down. Let's stretch our toes and fingers away without letting your ribs pop out. Good, we can roll over onto our side and push our way back up again. We can come up onto our knees. Let's open up through our chest. We can clasp elbows, our hands, keeping your ribs pulled down and in again, releasing. Beautiful. Let's bring one leg out to the side. Hips are centered. Nice side stretch over. Exhale, engage your core to come up. Releasing over the other side. Exhale to come up. I hope your core is feeling strong after that workout. If you are interested in learning more about my complete step-by-step -step core and pelvic floor healing program, I'll link below. Exercises are only one part of healing a diastasis recti gap. I'll link to my other video in here that talks about all of the other things I did to heal my gap.